Alright, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing just a quick little video review. Some people asked me to give my thoughts on a new TV series on Fox this year, uh, which is called The Last Man on Earth. <laughs> We've had about uh, eight episodes so far of the series. I have seen them and uh, I'm going to go ahead and give you my thoughts and my review on it so far. Okay, and minor spoiler warning for the series if you guys haven't seen it yet. We're eight episodes in first season, and, uh, you know, I've gotten a few messages from different viewers in the channel saying, hey, Trev, you know, we know that you love zombie apocalypse. We know you love apocalypse type stuff. You got to check out this show. It's called The Last Man on Earth. So I listened, and I at least uh, I checked it out from what we have so far of the uh, of the series, and I'll give my thoughts on it with, with minor spoilers to, you know, give away some of the plot points. So if you're interested in checking it out, here's the plot summary. It says, uh, this is by by Fox, uh, written by Fox. The Last Man on Earth is a new single camera comedy about the life and adventures of the last man on earth, Phil Miller, played by a fort. Uh, was once just an average guy who loved his family and hated his job at the bank. Now he's humanity's last hope. Will he ever find another person alive on the planet? Would hoping that she is a female be asking too much? Um, so you kind of get the idea of what it is. It's, it's a comedy where you basically have, uh, you know, your average Joe, so to speak. You have uh, Phil Miller, who, uh, you know, is a couple years into this, uh, I guess, apocalypse, so to speak, where a virus or something has basically wiped out all life on, on the planet, except for him, at least at the beginning in the, in the premiere. So in the premiere, it's pretty fun. You get to see him do all kinds of crazy things to pass the time. Uh, he'll watch movies with a generator. Electricity's gone out. His plumbing doesn't work. He uses a pool, a uh, neighbor's pool, as a um, toilet. <laughs> He just dumps, he just dumps his crap and everything. You know, he's he's uh, yeah, he's the diving board as his as his seat, and uh, yeah, so <laughs> he picks a house and uh, you know, of course, it's going to be a rich person's house in a really nice neighborhood and everything, and uh, you know, he lives large, but of course, he's completely alone. There's no other human beings around, and we there, there, it's it's not dark like you don't see any bodies or anything like that. Even though with how many people would be in that area, and just as he's driving around, there would be there'd be so many you know bodies and everything if this was uh, you know a little more realistic and it's you know it's got the half comedy feel it's like you know a little silly a little over the top but it's still interesting you know just to kind of see uh you know kind of a fun humorous type of way what it would be like being completely alone for years um, you know after after an apocalypse has killed everybody so what would you do you know it brings up these interesting questions what would you do if you were in that situation you were completely alone for years on end and um you know, you just you could do anything you wanted. There was nobody around. There was no consequences, no rules. If you wanted to go live at a mall or something, you could do that. If you wanted to go pick a new house, you could go anywhere and you know pick whatever house you want. Uh, you know, and travel around, look for others. You know, this kind of thing. So it it is a pretty fun. You know, it is a pretty fun show. You can see him doing all kinds of silly things, like using a flamethrower, and he creates. Uh, you know, he creates some friends for himself on different balls he's found. He he sets up a, a bar with these different imaginary friends he has on he draws their faces on balls and things like that and he'll talk with them and even though he knows you know that he knows that they're not real but he doesn't care because he needs you know he needs somebody to talk to after being alone for so long so that you know it's fun to start but you're probably thinking to yourself how are they going to make this into a series when you just have one guy alone you know how could that be a long-running show forever you know it just couldn't work so they start to bring in a, we start to find out that he's not completely alone they bring in a you know a female who's pretty funny and uh, you know uh, is a little a little silly a little over the top because again it's a comedy so you got to have some different you know funny silly goofy uh, weird type characters in there and of course you know they, they pick a female at least to start who she's basically the last person you'd want to be stuck with uh, <laughs> it's played by uh, Chris Kristen uh, Shal and her name's uh, Carol. So uh, of course, uh, you know Carol and him. They start to talk about repopulation, and uh, you know even though we get the sense that that the Will is not attracted to Car uh, Carol at all uh, <laughs> in any way, shape, or form, and probably detests even her personality and, and pretty much everything about her. Um, he decides that okay, I, I you know he's he's been alone for so long. 
that it's it's probably worth it. She is a female, so why not, right? So so you have this, and then you know she she insists they marry first. So they have this mock wedding, and you know you go episode by episode through this, just all kinds of silliness and, and just uh, pretty fun stuff. Afterwards, you have a couple other survivors that, uh, that that come into play with a total of four thus far in the series. We get uh, played by January Jones, Militia Shart, and she's basically um, plays your uh, desirable uh, female in the series. Uh, however, Will has already married this Carol character, and thus uh, you know you get this kind of thing of <laughs> this this mock wedding, and that he's already taken, and then you know how does how does this new character feel about it? And then you bring in a there's another male that comes into place afterwards. I don't want to get into too many spoilers. So there's the initial start off, you know, for the plot, um, set for 13 episodes for the first season, I believe. And, uh, you know, we'll see if it gets renewed for a second season. I haven't looked up yet to see whether or not it will or it has or what the ratings are doing or anything like that. But people asked me to review it, so I thought I would go ahead and do it. For this one, for me, it's not like a must-see. It's not like a must-watch. Like, it's uh, it's amazing. you got to check it out or anything like It's not like, you know, that. But it's it's decent enough. It's fun. It's silly. If you like that kind of fun, silly genre, you probably love it. For me, I, I'm okay with it. You know, I, I like it, you know. Um, and I do think with this show, as you go through, definitely the first few episodes are the are, are the best I think of, of the uh, the series so far and and as it kind of normalizes after the first three to four you start to see kind of what the show will be like in the long term it's decent after the beginning the beginning's real fun and then it goes to I think is decent to pretty fun to I'm not sure how long the series is going to last how well it's going to do but at least for the start I can recommend the first few episodes it's definitely a fun thing to check out so if you like that kind of genre I'd say check it out in terms of score I'm only going to give this one a seven out of ten it's a little bit above average for kind of the uh, the category it's in and they do use some pretty big props and they smash some pretty big things and they do some pretty cool environmental stuff that must have cost quite a bit so i think it is a fun show if you like this kind of apocalypse genre what would you do add it in with the silliness uh, i think maybe if you like zombie land or something like that this would be uh you know close to that same kind of you get the same kind of feel uh, out of it. So those are my thoughts on it. It's fun. Check it out if you're looking for something and, and you like that kind of uh, comedy apocalypse type uh, you know thing. I don't know if it's a genre but but style. Uh, it is. It, it's a bit of fun. So check it out. So uh, those are kind of my thoughts on it. I did. It, I have enjoyed it so far, but I liked it more at the beginning than you know where it's at now in episode eight. But we'll see. You know they got 13 episodes. How's the finale going to go? Will we see more uh, people that are surviving? Maybe he's not actually the last man on earth. Maybe there's lots, but uh, you know just seems like there's hardly any because it's such a few percent even if it's less than one percent of the population if you look at the population you know overall uh it, we get the sense it's probably like point you know even less than that like zero zero one or something but still that said there's going to be survivors out there so we'll see how the series goes in the long run uh so far i have enjoyed it and that's pretty much all i got to say about uh, this new series uh if you guys got a chance to check it out write in the comments below what you think about it and uh, if you want to see me do any more reviews maybe i can review the finale or something we'll, we'll have to see how the series goes whether or not i'll even stick with it uh if you like this video please sum it up below if you want to support the channel please share it please favorite it and if you're new and you want to see more reviews from me bottom left just click the subscribe that's it for this one guys see you for another review tomorrow so it's trap same piece